Hey everyone and welcome to American Towman TV. The regulations regarding how tow bosses handle electric vehicles is a little daunting, but a new invention is taking the heat off finding a solution. Firebox debuted at the American Towman Showplace Las Vegas recently and plenty of people were checking out this new quick fix. I've always liked to play with fire. I've always liked to play with fire. And this particular unit is designed to sit in the yard uh, and allow them to store legally and compliantly EV vehicles post traffic accidents. Uh, many places, including some federal regulations, require that if you store an EV that's been damaged, you have to have a 50-foot radius around the vehicle before you can store anything else. So if the average tow yard is 100 by 150, you can get two EVs in there if you want to be regulatory compliant, and that's about it. You've lost a lot of revenue. This allows you to stack these three, four feet apart, however many you want, get the EVs in there for about triple the daily rate of the average vehicle, and then uh, have plenty of space for other vehicles. The firebox allows you to flood a vehicle fire in mere minutes. The, the state of the science right now about dealing with uh, electrical vehicle fires is to, uh, is to flood them. Uh, foam doesn't work, spraying all day long is very slow and ineffective. This is an opportunity to bring the vehicle in, seal it in on, on four sides, and then flood it immediately, which is, again, the state of the art to do that. With this system, with an engine company from a fire department, you can fill this up with a car in it in two or three minutes. Uh, and that's rapid. Mobile Road Service Solutions had a design partner on the Firebox project, the folks at Environmental Chemical Solutions, also worked tirelessly to bring both science and environmental regulations into the project. The material on the inside, we had to create for the fireproofing. The design had to be to cool the battery as quickly as possible, to not only work on putting a fire out, but to stop thermal runaway in the battery. So that's what we had to go through to get to that level. It's been a big collective effort. A lot of our customers helped with this. We've, we've worked with the National Fire Protection Association, International Association of Fire Chiefs, Fire Marshal Association, local law enforcement, to get their intake and input on various options and ways to approach this. And so it's been really almost a community effort to come up with a really needed solution right now in America. There's 10 times more electric vehicle fires than internal combustion engine fires. The data is finally out, so you can get that data. There's a 14,000 pound winch on the standard model, but you can opt for a 20,000 pound winch if necessary. There's a winch inside for pulling in the vehicle. There's a ramp. The ramp is at door as well. It's a watertight door like we do on ships. It's a growing problem in the country with the EV vehicle fires, and regulators are playing catch up, insurance companies playing catch up, fire departments playing catch up. So we've been working with regulators and, and experts to also create some model uh, regulatory language that they can use to properly deal with this. There's many places there's no rules at all about EV fires or how to do this, whatever it is. And lastly, a note to tow bosses to think about evolving their own tow services agreement in the wake of all these changes. Tow service agreements are going to have to address this or we're going to have such a big problem and legal issues because the TSAs in many cases are forcing towers to do things illegally because they haven't evolved into where we are today in today's world environment. Thanks for watching American Towman TV everyone. Stay safe out there.